Hello and welcome back to Amazon in K Cooks. In today's video, I'm bringing you another delicious recipe. My patty pleasing meat pies. Guys, you need to try this because your family and friends are going to be asking for more. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Subscribe and like. Alright fam, so for this we are going to be needing some all purpose flour, some cooking oil, vegetable oil, some onions, potatoes, garlic, paprika or bell pepper and some spice, habanero pepper, some salt to taste, rosemary and black pepper and we also need some butter or margarine, some seasoning cubes, baking powder, two carrots, two eggs and some mincemeat finally. This is 500 grams of mincemeat but it's up to you how much you want to fill your meat pies. I'm gonna go ahead and chop everything and come back to you. And of course you need some milk but you can substitute the milk with some water if you don't want to add milk to it. Alright so first we're gonna start off with the dry ingredients. So in a mixing bowl, I'm going to be adding about 500 grams of all-purpose flour. Some salt to taste, about a teaspoon of salt, and baking powder. 16 grams of baking powder so I'm gonna be using half of this which is 8 grams after adding the dry ingredients stir well to distribute evenly and then add margarine or butter 250 grams this is a 500 grams so half of this I'm using after adding the margarine I use my hand to incorporate until you have a consistency of the breadcrumbs Add your milk or water bit by bit so you don't have a runny dough. Now I'm going to take this off the bowl and continue kneading on my chopping board. Remember not to work the dough too much. Just sprinkle a little bit of flour just so the dough doesn't stick on the board. Okay, so once you're done kneading the dough it should look something like this that's what it should be like not too hard not too soft next you want to use a clean fin to wrap your dough and allow it to rest in the refrigerator while you prepare the filling on this plate I'm gonna be chopping those in here but this dice won't remain like this what it looks like roughly chopped it smells amazing already in here just gonna add some oil into the pots and allow it to get hot so this is about four tablespoons of oil so first add your onions add the blended ingredients everything together and allow that to fry for about two to three minutes about three minutes next add your mincemeat to it so once it's well combined then go ahead and add your carrots since they are the hardest to cook next we need to add a seasoning cube Go 
cover that up for two to three minutes again and then we're gonna add the potatoes when we're back then cover it up and let it simmer for another three minutes add a few drops of water just to aid the potatoes and the carrot to cook well we don't want to cook this completely because we're going to be baking it afterwards so this is just going to be cooked like halfway a halfway cooked and then you can add the paprika or bell pepper stir that up and then we are going to be adding some flour to thicken and also keep the meat and the ingredients together so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this stir it up and add it into our filling that looks really really good look at that looks so good Now I'm going to take this off the heat, allow that to rest. So while that is cooling down, we're going to go ahead and start shaping and cutting off our dough. And I'm also going to be using this meat pie or ravioli shapers or cutters. So I got this one from Amazon. Link will be in the description box down below just in case you want to purchase. I just took it out from the refrigerator now. Alright, so you can spread this out as much as you want, depending on how thick you want your meat pies to be. it into your form now it's time to add your filling okay so I'm gonna place a baking paper onto my tray and then I'm gonna preheat my oven while I am filling the pies I forgot to tell you we need some egg wash so this is one egg and a teaspoon of water beat it up and this is going to serve as a glanzer so it is going to go on the back of the pie to give it that golden glance look and crispy and you also want to use it around the rim of the dough just so you have it closed securely So set your oven at 170 degrees and preheat for 15 minutes. It all depends on your oven. So mine is on 170 and then I'll be baking the pies. After the 15 minutes preheat, I'm going to be baking for about 20 to 25 minutes. It all depends on the type of oven that you have. So Okay, it's been exactly 15 minutes preheated. Now it's time to put your meat pie into the oven. And allow them to bake. So this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. Perfectly golden brown. Crispy on the outside, juicy in the inside. So guys, 
that brings us to the end of this delicious patty meat pie recipe. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I also hope that you give this a try. If that's the case, don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below what you think about this recipe and share this video out, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family for more delicious recipes like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Stay blessed and bye-bye.